Burundi's outgoing president Pierre Nkurunziza has died of a heart attack aged 55, the government announced Tuesday. Nkurunziza, a Hutu former rebel leader, became the second president in Burundi to be chosen in democratic elections. He was elected in 2005 after the end of a brutal civil war. Before the civil war, Mr. Nkorunziza, who had graduated in sports education, was a teacher and assistant lecturer at the University of Burundi. He survived the killings of 1993 when ethnic Hutus were targeted at the university and joined the Forces for the Defense of Democracy FDD, rebel group. He emerged as its leader and after the 2003 peace deal, Mr. Nkorunziza was named Minister of Interior before Parliament elected him President in August 2005. In March 2018, the governing CNDD-FDD party named Nkorunziza the country's eternal supreme guide. Nkorunziza's wife Denise Bakumi Nkorunziza was 10 days ago airlifted to Nairobi, for treatment after contracting COVID-19. A source at the Aga Khan University Hospital said Mrs. Nkorunziza was receiving treatment for an underlying condition as well. She was airlifted to Nairobi following a government-to-government -government agreement using AMREF's acquired portable isolation chamber, which is an innovative medical unit and transportation system designed for optimal safety during patient loading and transport. Last month Burundi's ruling party candidate Evriste Ndeyashimiye won the presidential election with 68.7% of the vote, the country's poll commission said. The retired army general will take over the helm after beating opposition rival Agathon who garnered 24.19% of the vote. Burundians went to the ballot on May 20 in an election that fielded seven candidates. The election marked the end of Nkorunziza's 15-year-long rule after his attempt to seek a third term led to riots and political unrest. The polls also took place despite, despite a coronavirus outbreak in the region.